So the problem um, is about buying a house. $40,000 is the down payment, and you've got five years time to get that $40,000. And a couple of ways to get it. First, leave this area, go to a different state. You can't afford anything. <laughs> <laughs> If you live here, you know how drastically things change over the last decade. Um, okay, what we need, $40,000 for a down payment and the time period that you have is five years. So somehow we've got to get that amount without robbing a bank. Um, so how much should you deposit today? Uh, if um, in five years um, you get that $40,000, say in a bank um, with some interest. So we have an interest rate of 6.4%. We have the time. Was it worth it? Yes. Yeah. Damn it. Mm. Okay. Thank you. I never thought you paid attention. <laughs> I'm glad you are paying attention. Um, that was a joke. Um, how much deposit should they make today um, at a rate of 6.4% interest compounded quarterly? Um, so the question naturally becomes, well, what formula to you? We've got two of them. Any thoughts? You should know by now. I'll write both um, you can check. First formula. Second. First one. First one. Why? Because it's, you're all good. Because it is compounded quarterly. The second case is if you compound uh, continuously. So we want to use the first formula. Um, we know R. What is R? The rate. Six point four percent, which would mean in terms of the decimal zero point zero six four. The term is given to us. How many years? Five. What is M? Four. Four. Y. Quarterly. Impressive. Um. What is the amount that the couple is looking for in order to go for a down payment? 40,000. So here's a question is A 40,000 or is P 40,000? A. A is 40,000.
just good to know the values. Um, how do we count this answer? Well, 40,000 would equal to 0 0.064 divided by 4.016 plus 1, 1.016 raised to 20. Just to refresh your memory, what type of equation are we dealing with? Exponential. Very good. Exponential equation. In this problem, we don't have to take logarithms because number, number, all we have to do is divide. So divide both sides. Five hours. And even before you start the problem, you've got to know the answer P, should it be less than 40,000 or should it be greater than 40,000? It has to be less than 40,000 because you start with a smaller amount, you are trying to grow it over the years so it reaches 40,000. So what is that answer? Twenty nine thousand, how much? Four hundred eighteen. Four hundred nineteen. Good. So if you spend twenty nine, sorry, if you put in twenty nine thousand. $119, I believe, this is an approximation. It is not going to result in that number exactly. Um, you end up getting $40,000 in five years. So, what is this? Yes. Part B wants to know. What is the interest earned? Eight. How much? Ten thousand eight hundred eighty-one dollars. Ten thousand eight hundred eighty-one dollars. Very good. How to do that? Subtract twenty-nine thousand forty thousand. So. Yeah. 40,000, sorry. No, I was done. Right. I was done. You, you were done, okay. $40,000 is what they were looking for. Initially, they put in $29,119. So $29,119 initial amount. After five years, you get 40000 in the compound interest formula, that final amount includes the initial amount and the interest. So the difference would be the interest part. Which is ten thousand eight hundred and eighty one dollars. Okay, now. Same equation, same logic. Um not even going to write the question yet. Part A and B tell us that you've got to put in $29,119 today at this point in time. Assuming 
percent interest. Good luck getting that interest. There is no way. It's probably a maximum of one and a half percent. Um, As of today, they've got only 20,000 to put in that account. Even before you start the problem, do you believe in five years they would get to that $40,000 that they would need? Nathan? No. Why not? Uh, because we found that to uh, get to 40,000, you need 29,000. Very good. Um, to get to 40000 you've got to start with $29,190. Definitely, I'm not going to make it. So, formula remains the same, but this time, um, what are we trying to find? Are we trying to find A, or are we trying to find P? We're trying to find A. So A was equal to P times 1.016. Nothing else changes, so M times T is just 20. Um, put in $20,000. If this answer exceeds $29,000, my life would be meaningless. So it better be less than that. Twenty-seven thousand four hundred and seventy-two. Twenty-seven thousand how much? Four hundred and seventy-two. Four hundred and seventy-two, approximately, right? Might be exact. 